Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, depending on where you are. Uh, my name's John Gardner. I'm the Senior Business Development Manager here at Taylor Hobson, responsible for the uh, surface and roundness systems here. And one of those systems is the Teleron 500HS that we're going to discuss today. Uh, obviously, during, after the webinar, we're open to questions and things like that, but please feel free to ask questions or if you want to send me emails afterwards, please do so as well. OK, in this webinar, we're going to look at one of Taylor Hobson's flagship roundness products, the Teleron 500 HS. We'll be looking at some of the new features of this instrument as well as some of its core capability. These new features include an automated vacuum chuck and a carousel rotary stage for multi plot measurement. Before we start, it's worth having a quick overview of the instrument and its core ca characteristics. These include a low noise instrument platform uh, with RQ and RA less than 30 nanometers. We'll discuss that in a little bit more detail later. A high precision air bearing spindle with low coning error with roundest deviations of less than 15 nanometers. It has a multifunctional gauge up to four millimeters of range and 0.3 nanometers resolution. Uh, when I say multifunctional, that allows us to measure roundness, contour and surface finish. We have a high precision rotary encoder and precision scales in all axes and high accuracy position co control, less than five micron for the arm and the column. Before we start, just a little bit about um, instrument noise, because I, I feel this is an important subject, regardless of whether you're talking about roundness or surface finish. So we're not going to go through all the instrument specifications, but it's worth talking about noise. And when looking at surface measuring equipment, noise levels are one of the key specifications and one of the first things that manufacturers or inspectors will look for in an instrument. Low noise indicates how stable the measuring instrument is. It has an effect on all measurements, including roundness, harmonic, velocity and surface finish. Therefore, noise levels do not belong exclusively to surface instrument specifications. So it's always worth remembering that that an, a low noise platform is key to any metrology or any measurements that you're going to make. So the new features we're about to discuss have all been designed and tested to ensure noise and stability are not compromised. The Teleron 500 HS is not unusual in the fact that it is capable of measuring the following. So, you know, most instruments can measure roundness, cylindricity, straightness, flatness, parallelism and squareness, and other parameters such as coaxiality and concentricity, eccentricity and radial runout are all, are all parameters that usually you get with roundness instruments. There are also a number of features that make the Teleron 500 HS different from other models. For example, it can measure surface finish. Again, we referred earlier to low noise. That low noise and our high resolution gauge allow us to measure surface finish. We can also measure surface finish in a sense in a cylindrical 3D measurement mode what that allows us to do is look at cylindrical parts. Some examples here, you can see a crankshaft oil hole in 3D, and we've also got a hip joint taper, and a um, what you see there is a, a bearing surface, internal bearing surface, oil bearing. And then, of course, we can measure contour because the gauge range is four millimeters, non-rotationally symmetric components, so actually some versions of the 500 HS have a ability to follow an out of round part beyond, that's beyond the gauge rain cap capability. So we can measure camshafts, pumps and that sort of thing. And another important uh, subject at the moment for bearing manufacturers is harmonics and velocity, something else we can measure. However, the difference with the Teleron 500 HS does not stop there. The 500 HS has both power and air passing through the spindle center via a special slip ring mechanism. Well, what does this mean? 
It means we can utilize both the power and the air to control various mechanisms, such as vacuum chucks, automatic stages, and pneumatic chucks. And most importantly, these mechanisms can be controlled while the spindle is in continuous rotation. Here you can see the type Teleron 500HS vacuum chuck. So what you're looking at there is a vacuum chuck. The optional vacuum chuck allows fixturing of small and delicate components without distortion. So there's no clamping or no, no strong clamping. You're using the air to clamp the, the part. And parts can be held without the clamping device interfering with the measurement location. For example, a, a roller bearing or a ball that you'll see in the video later, the ball bearing can be held and we can still measure without causing any problems or interference from the chuck. The vacuum requires no pump and works off the system air supply. This means there is no external inference from noise or vibration. A very important point. Some devices use pumps. That pump uh, causes the vacuum, but the pump can influence noise on the instrument. And we referred to earlier as noise being critically important for things like harmonics. Um, this particular device uses a, a Venturi uh, device. It works off the, the system's air supply and has no pump involved. And this means there's zero effect on the instrument's accuracy when measuring parameters such as roundness, harmonics and surface finish. Precise components such as ball bearings, roller bearings and other small components can be measured with full confidence in results. I'm going to show you a video in a moment, but the system can be controlled by a simple on off button that enables manual measurement or you can have a programmable on off button. And the vacuum chuck base can be removed to accommodate larger parts or parts that do not require the vacuum. So just bear with me, I'm just going to run a video. I'm just going to. This is the Teleron 500 NHS, uh, manufactured by Taylor Hobson. The system was designed specifically to measure roundness, flatness, cylindricity, straightness, also other features such as harmonic analysis and velocity, and also capable of surface finish measurement. One of the unique features about this system is its ability to have a vacuum chuck. The vacuum chuck is designed specifically to hold small parts without clamping, thus avoiding distortion. In this instance, we have a ball bearing held in a fixture similar to this one here. So we have a, um, a cup. This ball is held in the cup and the vacuum holds the ball down. There are no pumps involved, so there's very low noise coming from the uh, system and combined with the Taron itself, it's very high precision rounds. OK, here we're, we're loading a uh, fixture. This particular fixture is designed for holding a 25 millimeter ball. It's a, a cup that's been diamond turned, a very precise cup, and the air is passing through the cup and holding the, um, the ball down. You can see there we have a, an on off switch. So we turn the air on and now we can measure. Stylus force is very, very light anyway with our system, so we can measure roundness with uh, stylus forces down to 350 to 450 milligrams. As I say, the, the fixture, this particular instance, this is a, there are a number of fixtures for holding different size balls. You can see it's very easy to remove the fixture. What we're going to do is we have a series of fixtures going from one millimeter up to 30 millimeter diameter. In this instance, we now have a 10 millimeter diameter uh, cup and we can place the 10 millimeter ball there. And then the smallest we do, um, we have done a half a millimeter. We're going to show you this particular, this next one is a, a one millimeter diameter ball. The fixture has a special feature that allows you to catch the ball if you if you 
do have unsteady hands like me. Um, you'll see as we put this in, that's a one millimeter diameter cup that's been lapped so that we can hold the ball and the vacuum works on the small ball. We place the ball in the fixture. Um, we wouldn't normally use a stylus this large for a one millimeter ball. This is just for the video, but now we can measure things like roundness and the harmonics of very small balls. So it's an excellent fixture for holding balls that otherwise you'd have to glue or find some other way of measuring. And actually probably there's no other way other than to glue it. And here we have our, our roundness result. As I say, there's no compromise on results. Here we have a harmonic plot from our ultra software. When we've finished, we can remove the ball And then to remove the whole fixture, we simply just unscrew, unscrew the cup holder. Disconnect the pipe. This particular example has got three screws. You just unscrew and, and remove it from the instrument. Now you're at a standard instrument. What we're showing here is another feature of our instrument is a harmonic standard. The harmonic standard has got a number of um, a number of areas on it, up to seven areas. What those areas represent are individual harmonics. So we go from 15 UPR up to 1500 UPR. One of the only standards that does 1500 UPR. Each one of those has got a calibrated depth. Here we can see our operator checking that the harmonic result matches the certificate. And if it does, you're good to go. OK, I'm just going to move back to the PowerPoint. I'm not going to run the video again. OK. As well as supplying air through the spindle, the 500 HS has the extra, extra feature of power and control for the spindle center. This unique capability allows connection for portable stages such as the new rotary stage, transforming the Talleyrand into a multi-part measurement system. The stage is a portable device that simply sits on the 500 HS table top via three location, plug it into a concealed socket. We'll show a video in a moment. Control is provided via our ultra software, enabling fully automated measurement of multiple parts. Its unique counterbalance design ensures roundness measurement without compromise. So basically, um, you're going to, well, I think the video will explain things a little bit better, but before that, let me just explain how it works. So the portable device is simple to remove, turning the instrument from a standard Talleron to a multi-axis system. To load, you simply place the carousel three feet in the table's V grooves and connect the power. To use the Talleron in standard mode, you simply disconnect the socket and lift the whole thing off the table. So the, the user simply loads the components onto the carousel fixture. In this example, there are 20 parts. The pitch circle diameter of each part passes through the spindle axis via rotation of the carousel. And the carousel is rotated to the first location and a center and leveling process takes place. The component can then be measured for roundness, surface finish and contour. And on completion, the carousel moves to the next angular position and the process starts again. So I'm just going to run this short video which shows it in clearer detail. So we place the carousel on there and plug it in. Here you can see the individual components. Actually, this fixture was originally designed for roller bearings and these are just test pieces for purposes of this video. So we're now measuring the first component. When we've finished, the instrument moves out the way. The, the stage rotates to the next position and we measure again. So it's a fully automated process and all 20 parts can be measured without any operator intervention. 
And as I say, as this part is rotating, this stage is counterbalanced, so there's no effect on the spindle as it's rotating. We maintain the same accuracy as we do as a normal standard instrument. So on completion, quite simply the operator can unplug again the connector, remove the um, carousel and now you're back to a standard Talleyrand. So here we see remove the connector, lift the stage off the table and now we can measure other parts. Just moving on to the uh, last slide, you'll be pleased to hear. Um, any individual location on the carousel can be used for calibration standards or golden components. The, the example opposite shows a ball standard used to calibrate the gauge in order to measure surface finish or contour. You can see on the top right hand picture there, there's a small ball. That ball is being used, could be used to measure diameter. It could be also used to calibrate uh, contour and once we've finished we can then go and proceed to measure all the parts for diameter and contour. So it's also possible to place a ring gauge or a plug gauge or a golden component in one of the positions in the carousel. Adding the calibration artifact onto the carousel removes the need to switch between the part and the standard and it further reduces the measurement cycle. 